solving system of equations using the method of substitution substitution method is my least favorite method when it comes to solving system of equations but we gotta learn what we gotta learn now the substitution method can be useful first of all what is a system of equations a system of equations is um, basically a system of equations I mean I I could not have explained it uh, in an easier way so you have you can see here you have two equations you have two equations and there will be a solution to this system of equations there can be also infinitely many solutions there can be no solutions or there can be one solution these are the only three possibilities now we will try to find out that solution or solutions so the first method is using substitution now the substitution method works the best if one of the equations has a variable alone on one side for example here I see this y is a lonely variable because on the left hand side of the equation we don't have anything else except y so what we need to do in substitution is we will use the value of y which is 3x plus 9 from the first equation and we are gonna substitute this value of y in the second equation so let's do that so in the second equation which is 2x plus 3y equals 5 instead of y I'm gonna write 3x plus 9 3x plus 9 I got from the first equation and now we can see that this equation is only in x so now we can solve it apply the distributive property we get 9x plus 27 equals 5 this is 11x plus 27 equals 5 subtract 27 from both the sides so 11x equals 5 minus 27 11x equals negative uh, 22 then divide the equation by 11 so we get x equals negative 2 so that's the value of x and now you can put this value in any of the two given equations to get the value of y I'm gonna put this e value in f in the first equation so my y is gonna be 3 times negative 2 plus 9 so y equals negative 6 plus 9 so y equals 3 so the solution to this equation I mean the solution to this system of equations solution is negative 2 comma 3 now as I said that substitution will work best only in this case but if you do not have a system of equations like this for example you could have y minus 3x equal 9 and 2x plus 3y equals 5 you could have something like this so in that case you will first have to isolate one variable so for example here if you subtract 3 I mean if you add 3x on both the sides so you will get y alone on left hand side so this equation will become y equals 3x plus 9 what we originally had in our question but in this case when any variable is not alone on either side then we use a different method called elimination we'll see that in the next video